The American Society of Hematology has developed uh, practice guidelines for different uh, clinical scenarios related to hematologic conditions. And so I was part of a panel that developed guidelines for treatment of older adults with AML. And we're presenting a special session of that on Monday afternoon at the American Society of Hematology meeting where we'll update the, our, our deliberations on the treatment of older adults with AML. Uh, my presentation uh, focuses on the palliative care of these patients. I'm also a palliative care specialist in addition to being a hematologist. And one of the issues that we've seen with uh, patients with hematologic malignancies and particular acute leukemia, when they unfortunately uh, find that treatment is no longer working for them and they're approaching the end of life, there's often a delay in them being able to enroll in hospice care uh, because they're unable to get blood transfusions uh, under the Medicare guidelines that we have here in the United States for older patients with that are that are with hematologic malignancies that are going into hospice, and so we've been uh, working with the American Society of Hematology to try to improve that situation to recommend that hospices allow blood transfusions to be given to patients uh, who uh, have the leukemia and are enrolled in hospice and again approaching the end of their life. And there's actually legislation in the United States Congress that's being put forward to try to help hospices with funding the ability to do those blood transfusions. Second aspect of this is that uh, palliative care has been shown to be of benefit uh, in all patients with advanced malignancies from the very start of their diagnosis. We tended to think that palliative care was something to bring into their care later in their course, but a number of studies in solid tumors like lung cancer have shown the benefit of uh, engaging palliative care specialists in the care of these patients early in their treatment. And there's two studies that have been done here in the United States. Uh, led by investigators at the Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston that have shown that either patients that are having a bone marrow transplant or patients that are starting treatment for their acute leukemia can benefit from palliative care being introduced in their care very early on to provide the additional layer of support that can help them with their symptoms and their psychosocial support as they go through their treatment.